Coming up, I'm gonna show you a cool Chrome extension to help you figure out an app or even a competitor's short description on Google Play. Stay tuned. What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.co. You know, the place you go when you want action-packed content in the app business. And today I wanna to show you a cool Chrome extension that I've been using a lot for doing ASO on Google Play. It's, it allows you to see through Chrome a, an app, any app's short description. As you know, on Google Play, if you guys aren't familiar, Google Play, from a ASO perspective, keyword ranking, the most weight is gonna be on the app name, which they increase to 50 characters. And then there's a short description, which is 80 characters. And then there's a long description, which I believe is 4,000 characters, right? And so having keywords in the different sections actually helps you with the rankings. So if you're not familiar, I'm gonna to go to the to the to my computer to show you a few screens all right and we're going to show you how you can use chrome to figure out what your competitors are using in their short description so it's a nice little extension that i just installed allows me to pretty much see it so that i don't have to go to my android device which i hardly ever use to figure out a competitor's short description all right let's get to it all right here we go so this is a blog post that mobile action put together and i'm gonna link it up into the video notes as well but this i want to show this screenshot just to give you a sense of where it's probably a really old android phone but where the short description appears right it's when you're in the app store you actually don't see it on the web but when you're in the app store in the google play app store on your device and you search for certain things and you come to a an app you can see the short description is right here so aircraft combat is the best war plane dog fight game on mobile. That's the short description. And having these keywords in your short description will actually help you rank better for the keywords you're targeting. Now I need more data on this, but generally what I typically do, again, read through this blog post because they have differing results on this. But what I typically do is if there's a keyword that I'm really targeting, I tend to repeat it a lot. So I have it in the app name, I have it in the short description, and I typically have it in the first line of the long description, all right? The, I had, don't have enough data. So I do know for one of our clients, we went from number three to number one with these small changes. They did not have the keyword in the short description and we were able to get it to number one by having it into the short description. Now granted, they're already number three, but we got them to be number one for a pretty competitive keyword, again, that's a small data set that we just tried it. There's other ways that we've been able to do it too for other clients when we have it in the short description. So again, I would just say test on your own for that. All right, so let me show you the Chrome extension. So this is the Chrome extension. It's just called ASO, Google Play Short Description. And I'm gonna link that up into the, the YouTube description as well so you can check it out but it is a really cool extension. So generally when I'm doing ASO, I'm looking at competitors' pages, right? I'm looking at what they start out with, what's their app name, I'm looking at their presence, and I'm not doing it on my phone. I'm not doing ASO on my phone, right? So I need to know, I'm like, what is a short description? So here, here's what it looks like. This is what it normally looks like without the extension, and then here's what it looks like with the extension on. So you can see this is a short description. Save up to 50% off the full game price until October 12th to celebrate the new version, okay? That's what the short description says. So my hack was to look at the source, right? And if you go, so right click on the page, click view source, and then you hit find main title, main dash title. You'll see this is the app name, Super Mario Run, right? And this is what just Google appends. And then in the meta content is where the short description happens, All right? So up to 50%, as you can see, this text is the same as what this shows you, All right? So <laughs> I used to do this all the time. I was like, what? I got so sick of doing it that I ended up finding out if there's an extension and there was, and now I could just see it without having to look through the source, but that's it. All right, guys, I'm back. So that's how you find an app's short description on Google Play. Like I said, it is important on Google Play. The small test that we have run on Google Play when it pertains to this is 
adjusting, having certain keywords that we want to rank for both in the app name, the short description and long description. I haven't tested to see what would it would do if I did not have it or I only had it in the short description versus not having the long description. The mobile action article, if you read through it, it does say like certain keywords tend to rank better when it only shows up in the short description. So it's worth a test on your end to figure that part out. But for me, from what we've seen is we just put it in all. So we're gonna do a couple more tests just to figure out what's working, what's really working, what's not. But that's a quick way to figure out any apps, short description. And lastly, here is the plug. If you guys wanna learn more about our ASO strategies, especially on Google Play, go check out at mastersacademy.com. Our complete ASO master's course is on there that walks you through our exact, pro exact process for Google Play. And we're doing a ton of case studies too, in terms of which ASO tool is the best. That's on our YouTube channel. I'll link that up so that you guys can check it out. And I walk you through a analysis where, hey, this is, this is what happens on Google Play. And here are the comparison in terms of the ASO tools and which one is the best in terms of giving you the most accurate data. I right, check that video out. But if you want the inside scoop on the things that are happening on Google Play, we're focusing, on, we're running a ton of different tests to see what's gonna really work on Google Play because people have said to me, you talk a lot about iOS. Do you do any type of Google Play stuff? I'm like, yeah, I do, of course. And so we're gonna focus a lot more and you'll see me create more and more content around Google Play as well. But if you want the inside scoop, all right, here it is. It is at mastersacademy.com. Go check it out. It has all our courses for one low monthly price. It's just $25 to get access to everything. And we're gonna continually pump out more and more content just for you as we learn more and more about it. And it's completely MVP right now. So you might come in and be like, oh, where is everything? But we published a ton of great content on there and we just published the Apple, sorry, the Apple feature course that has helped four, five different clients get featured by Apple in 2017 and 12 to 13 overall. So it is one last time at mastersacademy.com. See you on the next video.